Question three, Michelle. Question three, Michelle Brown. Will the First Minister make a statement on the level of support the Welsh Government gives to Armed Forces veterans? Uh, so the Welsh Government supports veterans across the range of our responsibilities, including employment, health and in education. Thank you for that answer, First Minister. There are 51,000 veterans in North Wales alone, and although we have veterans NHS Wales, there are only three psychologists to look after their mental health needs. That's clearly not viable, but that isn't the, 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 what, really what I'm driving at here. But having said that, I don't think it's fair to expect government and the NHS to do everything, and we should be encouraging <laughs> self-help whenever possible. T. Ryan was a project in, well, in Wrexham that involved veterans taking part in the building of one and two bedroom departments for occupancy by veterans. T. Ryan made a huge difference for those veterans involved to improve their mental health as well as providing much needed housing. For some time, my office has been in contact with Woody's Lodge, a charity concerned with the welfare of veterans. Like me, they see how self-build <laughs> projects can benefit veterans and that, and that around North Wales there are plots of unused brownfield land that could be used for these projects, often owned by local authorities. So would you agree to meet with myself and representatives of Woody's Lodge Charity for Veterans to see if we can develop a way to locate and release unused local authority land for future veteran <laughs> self-build projects? Uh, thank the member for uh, her supplementary question. Uh, as it happens, uh, so with my colleague Renan Passmore uh, was talking to me about Woody's Lodge and the work that it does uh, only very recently. So I'm aware of the work uh, that it does and Project uh, 360 uh, Degrees, which is part of that initiative. And it is part of that self-help uh, way of doing things that has been a very prominent part of the way the veterans community has organised amongst itself to make sure that it's able to share experiences and allow people to draw strength from uh, one another. Now, my colleague Alan Davis, nearly a, a year ago, uh, committed to a scoping exercise to identify any perceived gaps in service delivery for veterans and their families here uh, in Wales. And the expert group that we have set up to carry out that scoping activity and other uh, things will engage with service charities, including uh, Woody's Lodge and the 360 degree project, uh, to see if there is more that we can do to ensure a collaborative approach between what public services can provide for veterans and those many ways in which veteran organisations mobilise themselves to help their own members. Darren Miller. 